Hey fellow writers! This year I decided to participate in an awesome online program called Camp NaNoWriMo. I decided to vlog my entire experience this year to share with you guys. But some of you might be wondering, uh, Gabriel, what's Camp NaNoWriMo? And to that I say, well, allow me to explain. NaNoWriMo stands for National Novel Writing Month. It's in November and thousands of writers all over the world participate in it, all in the pursuit of writing an entire novel in just one month. Camp NaNoWriMo is like the smaller, more flexible version of NaNoWriMo. It's still one month long, but it usually takes place in April or July. I'm doing the July one. Unlike NaNoWriMo, which sets a specific word count goal for 50,000 words, Camp lets you set your own word count goal, between 30 and 1 million words. It also lets writers tackle pretty much any project, whether it's a rough draft, a revision, a continuing project, a screenplay, even poetry. And just like NaNoWriMo, the program lets you interact within virtual writing communities, so you can chat with and write alongside other authors throughout the month. It's kind of funny, the last time I did NaNoWriMo, I was in seventh grade, and specifically it was the Young Writers Program. It was super fun, and you should totally do it if you're in middle school or high school. But this is my first time doing Camp NaNoWriMo, because I'm older now. Throughout this vlog, I'm going to talk about my story in pretty vague terms. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I will say it is a middle grade novel, and I started it not that long ago, so I just need 25,000 more words. Just 25,000. All right, enough talk. Let's get to week one of Camp NaNoWriMo. Enjoy! Day one of Camp NaNoWriMo was very, very chill. It was kind of easy, like I might have set my goal a little too low or something, but it was actually not bad, like it was kind of fun actually. I did a little bit of writing in the morning, about 30, 45 minutes I think, and I got about 250 words done in that time. I had two very small writing sessions in the afternoon, and it was actually a lot less intimidating to spread it out throughout the day, as opposed to doing it all at once. Maybe after writing, I'm gonna go out and ride my bike. And maybe while I'm out there, I'll figure out what I'm gonna write tomorrow. The arrow moves such a tiny amount. It's like so small. 7.2%. Yet we are okay because we beat our daily goal. At this rate, you'll finish on July 31st. That's, that's when I wanna finish, so okay. Okay, so of the people who have written, uh, which have been like three people so far, I have the least amount of words, but that's okay because I wrote something. So a lot of people haven't written anything yet or at least haven't updated their word counts yet. So uh, I'm ahead of the game, guys. You've got mail. What kind of mail? A character questionnaire. Very cool. This is actually so interesting. 51 questions you've probably never asked about your characters. What's the worst advice they've ever received? Uh, their wallets get stolen. What do they do? Love this one, this one. What's in their fridge? What is in their fridge? I actually wonder that myself. Anyway, I'll probably have to do this tonight or something just for fun. This does look like a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks NaNoWriMo. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for taking the time to invest in your creativity this month with excitement for what's to come. Tim. Thanks, Tim. Okay, I'm gonna say that's day one done. <laughs> The street is so freaking bright. Goodness, I'm gonna start sprinting in like five minutes, I think. I gotta kinda wake up a little bit. I just look up, acoustic, guitar. Oh shoot, I cannot spell. There we go, acoustic, guitar, instrumental music, 2017. Nintendo Switch, go the heck away. Ugh. It's perfect. Not gonna lie, day two of Camp NaNoWriMo was a little harder than yesterday. It could have been because I was actually trying to do all of my word count goal in just one sitting, but uh, it was also maybe because I was getting up pretty early. I started my sprint at about 6.15 and I went till like 7.30, I think. So <laughs> I ended up getting a lot done. Overall, it was pretty easy getting those words down on paper. I had an idea right before I went to bed actually, and I was like, oh, I gotta make sure I remember that. And I actually didn't write it down, but the, m the minute I woke up, I was like, yep, I know exactly what I'm writing. As for the story, I decided to rewrite a scene that I wrote a few years back because I thought it was super boring to just read about a character thinking. And so I 
basically was able to convey that same information with the main character thinking and put it in a conversation between the main character and his family members and make it not only more entertaining but also add some pretty cool character moments here's the moment of truth everyone 941 let's go so i beat it even more today that's awesome i have no idea if this is any good but um it was fun to write so maybe that's okay yay hooray it's so early in the morning guys how am i supposed to do this there we go save that I'm just gonna go ahead and say that day two is done oh gosh <laughs> also my charger kind of broke but some duct tape should fix it maybe Hopefully. Oh well. Day two. Hooray. Okay, so I got up kind of early, like seven as opposed to six, but I don't have a ton of time, so I'm gonna have to write a little bit later. But I did end up writing this very small portion. Let's see how many words it is. I'm actually kind of curious. Sorry if my voice sounds incredibly monotone right now. It's just, I want to be quiet and it's also morning. It's the worst combination. 104 words, so 700 more. And I am going to do it later and we'll see if I can do that here, but I might do it at the library. We'll just have to see. <laughs> Normally don't write outside of my environment, but I thought it would be kind of fun to see um, if maybe writing a different environment might be easier to focus. So it was really cool. The library was kind of loud, but <laughs> I had headphones and I was able to listen to my favorite Steven Universe soundtrack, um, the instrumental soundtrack, of course. But it really helped me to get into the mood and I put down a lot of words. But even after the library thing, I still only had about 600, 700 words. I can't remember the exact count, but about that. Later, later, later in the day, I ended up sitting outside and finishing the word count goal. And I think I got like a, a little over the, the actual daily word count goal. So not bad. It was not bad at all. Uh, I would much rather like to knock it all out at once like I did on day two, but at least I was able to make my daily goal and I was able to spread it out throughout the day as well. Even though I had a lot of stuff going on today, I had a bunch of appointments I had to go to, I had work, I had all kinds of stuff going on, but still I was able to get it done. Kind of just shows you that it doesn't really matter what you're doing, if you make time for it, you can still get it done. Good morning! It's so dark you cannot see anything happy fourth of july 6 4 a.m on Jul oh my gosh it's bright a lot of people wonder why i get up so early to write and the biggest reason is because when you get up early to write your inner editor hasn't waken up yet so you don't judge yourself as much and uh usually when you go back and you know read it, it's like wow that was really cringy <laughs> That's awesome. I could probably finish this in one sitting, so let's do it. <clears throat> There's like a part that I need to write, but I really don't want to write. Has anyone ever been there? I've definitely been there right now. And we'll finish those 200 words somehow. Maybe I'll like skip way ahead. Ooh, that'd be fun. Let's just skip way ahead. Even though this is kind of not what I'm supposed to do, I'm gonna go ahead and try to edit this video a little bit because I really wanna get it out by the end of, not this week, but the beginning of next week. So maybe I should start editing it, maybe? I don't know. There it is, hooray! Oh, no. No! Good morning, fellow writers. 
4 p.m. now. I was hoping my charger isn't dead because look at that, it's like totally frayed. That's messed up. Moment of truth. That is not a good sign. Oh, but it like lost it. Um, if I could put something on top of this. Perfect. <laughs> I really need to write something. I'm gonna keep this because I like it a lot. So yeah, let me actually just see how many words I have so far because I just wrote down a bunch of random dialogue. I didn't even put um, I didn't even put characters by them or by a lot of them. I was just kind of listing whatever came to my mind first. It was kind of like a little brainstorming session. Two hundred sixty-three words. Okay, not as bad, but we need to get eight hundred words. writing a lot, but I'm starting to think maybe I should rethink where the story is going a little bit. Um, it seems somewhat random and I'm not exactly sure how the motivation of the villain is going to work into all this yet, so I'm not entirely sure. I mean, obviously it's a first draft so I can edit it later and whatever, but I think it's important. So yeah, but I did have some idea for dialogue. I don't know if it'll fill out the whole word count goal thing but I'm gonna write it down anyway because I want to do that more. Man, this is probably the hardest writing day. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's, it, it started off easy, but now it's starting to get a little hard. So, all right, back to writing. 1,279 of literally just dialogue after all that description I wrote. So that's, that's, that's great. And we are right on track. Oh my gosh, guys, we're almost at 25%. That's so cool. All right. Awesome sauce. See you guys later. Bye. Can you believe it, guys? Like, the week one is, like, almost over. That's kind of amazing. Just went back to video to explain that I'm going to read through the stuff that I wrote. It was a couple years ago. And just see, or just at least take some notes as to what needs to change. And then I'll get into the dialogue, the new dialogue. So, or at least just to remember kind of where I am. It's just really interesting because I wrote it a few years ago and it's like some of the stuff doesn't really make all that much sense, but I kind of want to pinpoint what stuff doesn't make sense so I can figure out what I need to change in the next part of the draft. <laughs> I'm just writing that dialogue in this chapter and this dialogue in this chapter, I got 408 words. So a little um, underneath what I needed. I'm not under a lot of pressure though because I keep going over my writing goal and I'm gonna get done early. So yeah. So I decided I was gonna take a break on writing today since I'm already really far ahead of the game for some reason. I just keep surpassing my uh, writing goal, <laughs> not to brag or anything. But uh, I did get this awesome uh, sticky note. I don't know if I showed it off yet. The first thing I thought of was rejecting things that um, maybe are old or don't work for the story is a part of the process. So coming up with things that don't work, sometimes you have to get rid of them and you have to start it again and you have to do it again and again. So rejection is in fact part of the process. Thought I'd just explain that. So, um, yeah, I'll pick up on writing tomorrow and um, I'll have a little bit of fun with it too and I'll probably be a lot more fresh. Okay. Day six is done and I'm gonna continue editing this video so you can watch it for yourself. Yeah! Okay, so normally I, uh, this is the part where I monologue about what I'm gonna do today, but I have an idea and I kind of don't want to spoil it for you and I just kind of want to see if it's gonna work. Because yesterday we didn't like, we didn't really do a whole lot of writing, so today I was thinking that it might be interesting to try this out and uh, then I'll let you know why I did it. Mm -hmm. 